Okay, Chopper Head, this is your boy 3D Lee, live action coming at you one more time. We're going to try to get another test going on here. Uh, I'm trying to get this stuff all knocked out for you guys before it starts raining because it's supposed to be coming down pretty good here. Alright, here's what we got. Uh, got another motor in here. Prototype, this right here is a 5100 kV motor. Uh, I had to modify the castle settings. This is 3S, 6 pole. I modified the castle settings. It wouldn't take anything higher than 46, 4700 on the um, Idle Up 2. So right now we got normal 4000, Idle Up 1, 4300, Idle Up 2, 4600. This is the maiden flight and maiden test of this. Before I had a problem because I didn't have um, the Loctite I was using wasn't good enough. So evidently it was kind of weak. So I thought I'd try something different with a different Loctite. And I want to spend a, uh, send a special shout out to a guy on Heli Freak by the name of Malin P. Hey bro, I really appreciate it. This guy kind of jumped in real quick and said, hey, I'll send you some Loctite. That'll uh, work almost like concrete mix on this thing if you want me to. Just give me an address and I'll send it out. So make sure that main wire is not touching that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give this thing a test. Um, oh, man, I left my um, cell checker at the house. Darn it. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, give it a test while I'm already here. And let's just kind of see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to still go with three minutes. Um, I'm not going to touch the gyro settings. I'm going to leave them at uh, 75 straight down. So let's fire this up, see what we get, and then I can come back at a later time and uh, give me a little throttle hold here. Come back at a later time and see if we can uh, get some uh, cell checking on this. we plug in here if we did I sure as heck didn't hear it oh great well I guess it would help if I put this back in here and I don't know that I can get it back in here with just my fingers uh, oh let's try it we're unplugged there sorry guys for the uh, mishap on that one well, that looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get a key and push that down. And uh, keep this test going for you guys. Is that it? Not quite. Oh, this is going to be a to be continued, I can see right now. Unless I get lucky. And right now, I don't think I'm getting too lucky at all. Oh, come on. Work out for me. There. Sorry guys, I uh, this wasn't planned, that's for sure. And get in there for the fellas. Are we in there? to mess up anything. It looks kind of good. Alright. Looks like we might have just uh there we go, click. We might have locked out. Let's see what we got. Alright. Hold. That's what I'm listening for. Good. All right, let's see what we got. Again, guys, sorry for the delay. I'm just trying to get something for you guys before this rain gets me. And uh, I hear the castle doing its regular single beep, so that's good. No additional sounds. Oh. Check everything out. Got that. Tail's good. Got front and back, and side to side. All right, let's see what we got here. 
3D Lee live action. Nice and smooth. Tail looks good. I just got to be careful just in case this Loctite is not what I thought it would be. Alright. I love one. Alright. So far so good. Tail still solid at the gyro rate. Two. I love two. Alright. Alright, here goes the scary part. Let's get at it. Nice. Trying to beat the crap out of this thing. Nice. Punch out. A little inverted flying. I'm just trying to yank this thing, guys, so you guys can see what's happening with it. It screams, that's for sure. A little snappy action. Nice. Bring it down, baby. There you go. Nice. All right. Taking it like a champ, fellas. Oh, all right, you saw it. Must be the Loctite. Let's go verify. We had six seconds left. Let's go look at the details. We put it to the test, I think. I'll let you guys decide on that one. All right. Okay, we're getting double beeps. Motor feels, let's see. Motor is hot is hot I repeat that may be a message of overheating on that and have to tighten up the tail boom a little bit no big deal there eh, that's bent a little bit yeah we don't have any major damage from what I can see um, servos appear to be good fully functioning so that's a good thing we just have to straighten the servo arm out and, and, and uh, recenter and I believe yeah well, I'll straighten out the tail boom that's not gonna be an issue there straighten this out that won't be an issue there uh, let's see what we got on the tail servo tail servos okay all right uh, main gear appears to be okay nothing stripped and let's look at this uh, pinion. A pinion, ah, pinion appears to be fine as well. So now what I want to do, canopy's a little chewed up and I uh, cracked a canopy mount, but that's plastic, so I'm not worried about that at all. All right, now here's what's going to be interesting. 
what I want to do is I want to unplug this ah, come on out of there. all right I'm gonna give it just a second but I want to keep you guys still on this video and keep running this feed live all right, make sure all the plugs, everything else is still in there. So I guess I did get the castle part in there, all right. Let this cool off for just a little second here and see what happens if that castle stops that double beep. And I'm not gonna be foolish enough to take it back up even with a bent servo arm. I'll straighten that out or just get another one, whatever. Uh, I do not have the, um, what do they call it, the servo saver thing? Alright, let's try this again. Uh, transmitter. Transmitter still has six seconds on it. We are at throttle hold. And let's see what we got here. If it stops. Let's listen up. Initialize fine. No beep from the castle again. And just for grins, let's go ahead and it's beeping like normal. Take the throttle hold off. Whoa. Okay. So that's down there. And let's fire this up. Okay, what that tells me is simple. Uh, for whatever reason, it when I keep in mind too, guys, it is 90 degrees out here, or probably about 95 maybe. So I'm I'm running in some you know some pretty hot heat out here, but that tells me that this right here overheated uh, with uh, everything I was putting on it. So which is fine. That's the kind of stuff I want to know because you're gonna have some hardcore 3D guys out there doing. 10 times more than what I'm doing, that's for sure. But um, that's where we're at. Honestly, I think I can live with that. I think I can, I'll be okay with that. Um, I'll just have to uh, kind of play around with it a little bit and see what I come up with. But on the 5100 side, flying wise, you know, I'm gonna let you guys make your own, you know, uh, opinion of that. So, um, you know, once again, you saw it for yourself. We got all the way down to about six seconds, so um, I'm I, I'm a, I'm okay. I still want to do some more tests with it, but uh, as far as it working and all that stuff, everything else appears to be good. So we're gonna go ahead and let it be what it is. You guys can go ahead and decide and uh, go ahead and shoot me any comments you have to um, my YouTube page or you know make some comments below. Let me know what your thoughts were. And uh, I'll talk to you guys and get some more stuff updated for you soon. Take care. 3D Lee and I'm out.